What's up, guys? It's me, your pet ass is Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black and White 2 walkthrough, or just White 2 walkthrough. Yeah, keep on forgetting, guys. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been quite busy, and yes, I did check out the last five episodes, and I noticed that yeah, I accidentally recorded this episode or the last five episodes on my webcam ca uh, webcam microphone. Yeah, not my uh, Blue Yeti microphone and all that stuff. So, anywho, in our last episode, we actually went through the Galactic, uh, the Team Galactic, or Plasma. Yeah, Team Plasma? Team Galactic? Hey, you know what? I don't even care. We were in a boat or somewhere, and now it is finally time for us to go to Route 6 because, well, we got stuff to do right here, guys. And most importantly, we have to have our repels because we do not want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. If only I could find some repels. Let's see, did I buy repels? Huh. Oh, yes. But plenty because yeah, we didn't want to get attacked by anybody right here. But as you can see, there's a lot of uh, there are a lot. Or there's a lot of grass right here. And well, let's go right ahead and start switching out our Pokemon right here, like Big Booty Butt Kiss. Let's go right ahead and just destroy everybody right here. Okay. And yes, we are going to be taking on Pokemon Breeder April right here. And she, yeah, she she doesn't seem so happy right now because well, you know, I don't know. But she's going to be coming out with her Minchino. And yes, butt kiss. Big booty butt kiss. Ready to go right here. So anywho, uh, like I said before, guys, I, I did notice that I accidentally recorded this whole thing uh, via webcam camera or, you know, a microphone and all that stuff. And uh, that's, that's one of the things when you're in a rush, you just don't check up on anything. And it ends up, you know biting you in the bud right there uh, I did I did see it and I do apologize guys it, that that won't happen again I make sure to check up on everything before I do anything if that makes any sense right there and look at that yes we have defeated April King okay, mud take names and all that stuff and well now it is finally time for us to actually move on right here and yes we are gonna be taking on a lot of trainers and we got a phone call from the cross transceiver well okay let's see what's up hi is this Draven? Wow, you're a boy, Draven? It's a little annoying that we can't see each other, right? Just so you know, I'm a girl. Tee <laughs> Oops, my colleague is calling me. I have to, to get back to work. Talk to you again. Goodbye. Okay, well, that's kind of odd right there. Now, before we do anything, uh, yeah, there's nothing right there. There is a trainer. And yes, we're going to continue on with our adventure right here. Let's go with Shadow right now. And, uh, well, there we go. Let's see, pouring rain, fighting Pokemon. That is her motto right there. Okay, so let's see what we, we, let's see what we're talking about right here. We're taking on Nicole, and she is coming out with her cast form. As many of you guys already know, cast form does have a way of, uh, you know, kind of, uh, doing its thing, its business right here. Cast form, it does get its power from the elements. And it this like regardless or whatever the elements uh, has, it will transform into and then take that typing, if I'm not mistaken. And well, look at that. We get a little moxie just because shit are, you know, it's it's all powerful and all that stuff. But you know what? That's the only Pokemon that we're gonna be taking on right here. But we are gonna get another trainer right here very shortly. So let's go right ahead and take on this Pokemon trainer right here. So let's go. So, right here in Route 6, before, you know, we continue on, or while we continue on, you will be able to find Deerlings around here. Deerlings will actually come out in whatever season it's coming out as, and right now, I think it's like winter or spring, I don't even know. It's been a while. Uh, you'll find Fungus, which uh, they will deceive you, deceive, or yeah, they will deceive you by looking like Pokeballs and all that stuff. Carablast is a Pokemon you can actually find around here, I think. Yeah, you, if you're playing White 2, Carablast is a Pokemon you'll often find around here. If you're playing Black 2, it's a very rare Pokemon to actually find. Meryl, and then you got Shelmet and you got Shelmet, and then that that happens to be vice versa and all that stuff. And well. I'm just going to continue on right here. Swadaloon, Tranquil, these are some pretty good Pokemon to actually find here. Uh, in the tall grass, you'll actually find Odinu. You know, that that Pokemon that will actually increase your XP or your experience points quite a bit. And, well, let's see. 
That's pretty much it right there. So let's go right ahead and uh, go with the high jump kick. F it. And there we go. Uh, Emoga is another Pokemon you can actually find. Now, items that you can find around here. Ultra Ball, Shiny Stone, Shiny Stone, Moonstone. The HM03 Surf, which we will be getting uh, eventually. I don't know where, but we will find it. And... Let's see, high level, lower level Pokemon, yes, okay. So if you go right here, you'll find yourself an Elixir, which, you know, is the very first item that you can actually find. That right there may be a, uh, well, that right there may be an item, but really, it's what, from what it's looking like, it's not an item. It's actually a Fungus, and uh, yeah, that's a Pokemon that I do not want to take on. And, well, there's our good old buddy, Cheren. Oh, Draven, can you come with me for a moment? Okay. I mean, it's not like I, I got nothing else to do right here. But, yes, we're moving with Chiren, and no one really talks about it, but the record shows that there was a sudden drop in temperature near Lacunosa uh, town. It was only for a moment, but it went down as low as negative 58 degrees. Not only that, but similar temperatures were recorded around Castilia City and Drifvale City. On top of that, that incident with Team Plasma, I think it needs investigation before things go bad. I hate cold weather, though. I'll give you this. It's a hidden machine that contains Surf. With this, you, you uh, please go to different places and check on what's going on. Let's let one of your Pokemon learn Surf and let you travel across water. So there it is, guys. The HMO3 Surf was with Charon. And sorry to have you slowed you down. Some strange things may, may be happening, so be careful on your journey. Okay. Now, I think in this area right here, you can actually get yourself a, uh, a, a Deerling, yeah. Now, you can see Deerling from all four seasons in our lab. When it comes to Deerling, we're sort of experts. We found a rather rare Deerling. Will you raise it for us? What do you say? Yes. Now, there's only one problem. I do have a full team of Pokemon, so we will be getting back to you. Just to, you know... Just, just, just to just to remind me or a reminder and all that stuff. Good thing I'm writing these things down. Now, if you go right here, you're gonna be getting challenged by a buttload of Pokemon. There are items around here, so just be aware of that, guys. And well, scientist Jacques, Jockeys, take it on. Good old Draven right here with Deerling. Deerling is a grass type Pokemon, so I did, I probably did choose the wrong Pokemon. So let's go straight to Bud Kiss. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what happens right here. Now, yes, again, I'm, I'm, I'm being told that, yes, I can actually evolve my bookies right now. Well, I'm waiting for, I think it's final move right there, because it does it does have a, a nice move set. And I think, and I'm pretty sure, it, it continued on right here to Generation 5, I believe, that you can't learn any more moves after being evolved or being, uh, you know, being, uh, what was it? being used uh, to you uh, you know you, you know what I mean use an elemental stone and well there there we go we found ourselves a moonstone if you know whatever let's go right here water absorb and dry skin Pokemon with those abilities love water type moves in rainy weather the gym leader at Spurchus City is very familiar with those uh, Pokemon abilities isn't he oh do you know him then can you ask him about abilities through the cross transceiver not really gonna do that right now but they are very very strategic moves and, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Gigalith needs some uh, love right there. And, well, while we're, uh, out, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and teach... Uh, let's go ahead and teach our Pokemon Surf right here. So we do have one Pokemon right here. Sigh of the Torrent, learning Surf. And, let's see, it does have Razor Shell. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at its stats right here. Actually, can't really take a look at its stats. Uh, it looks like, to me, it is more of a physical Pokemon. Huh. But we need the surf technique. You know what? We're gonna do this right now. Might as well. Okay, so that is that. Taught it surf. And let's go ahead and battle another trainer right here, Scientist uh, Marissa. Okay, so something that I've been trying to improve upon, especially by looking at, you know, some of the older videos right here previous videos and all that stuff is to remember all my opponents 
locations and all that stuff. Uh, I've been seeing some of the messages, comments onto other videos right here, and yes, I do have an issue with remembering a lot of stuff. Now, I could blame it on me playing a lot of football, you know. Maybe CTE, may not be CTE. I could not tell you guys. I haven't gotten checked for all that stuff, but I do have an issue with remembering a lot of these things. So that's the reason why I got myself a notebook right here, writing down where am I, where exactly am I going? And uh, well, I probably could have used this. Let's see. I probably could have used this this little method uh, while I was doing some postcom and all that stuff. But you know, since I'm kind of recording this right now, I might as well just do this right now and just remember the routes and locations that way I can type it pr properly and all that stuff um let's see there might be no there's no item right here so right across this stream you'll find another item which I do suggest you go in onto the well going onto your uh, your Pokemon with surf and all that stuff grab this and you'll find yourself a PP up now there is another item that you can actually grab while surfing, so that's what we're going to be doing right now. Uh, another thing, too, that I actually am changing up, or, you know, I'm improving on, <laughs> is making sure that I have the, the Pokemon Guide right in front of me. And let's go ahead and do that. That way, I know exactly where I'm going, because, you know, I I recently gotten a complaint about, like, wow, why didn't you prepare for this, you know? And look at that. We found ourselves a heart scale, which can be used to teach Pokemon. Uh, well, can be can can be used as a trade to teach Pokemon some new moves and all that stuff, which we will cover eventually. So yeah, guys, working on a little bit of a uh, or improving on, on on the skills right here. That way, many of you guys stop you know nagging me, getting on my case about stuff. I don't mean not necessarily a nagging, but you know what I mean, guys. It's for the better, just to make myself a little bit better as a YouTuber and all that stuff. You know, I've been doing this for 10 years, and you guys probably already noticed that, you know, hey, you know, we're no spring chickens right here. We did cross the 30 mark, the 30 year old mark. So, yeah. Things start going, things start happening. Things have to be up upkept. That's what happens with age. I'm still considered young, but you know what I mean, guys. Now, here's Fungus, a Pokemon that I was actually talking about that can be mistaken for items and uh, well look at that big drain about to hit us right here and that right there is not the business okay alrighty so let's go straight again with a little bit of a rock slide and uh, there you go fungus has been defeated okay and well he's about to come out with a carablast you know what it's a bug type Pokemon I can use a rock slide right here okay so here we go rock slide for the win and Carablast has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Desert Storm. Even though it's spelled incorrectly. Now, again, Car um, Fungus can look like a Pokeball. That is not the Pokeball that we're looking for. That is actually a Fungus, so just be aware of that. Grab this. We found ourselves an Ultra Ball. Nicely. A, a nice item. And yes, again, here is another Fungus. Do not grab that. Trust me, guys. I'm looking at my guide right now. Yes, I am trying not to waste a lot of time right here. So let's go ahead and switch out to Big Booty Butt Kiss. Now I know Magneto's right there. But let's go ahead and start battling some people right here. So here we go. Water fun, uh, water fun with Pokemon. Do you want to play with us? Sure. Let's go right ahead and, uh, and have some fun right here. Okay, so here we're taking on Lady Theana or Tiana. I don't know. How do you pronounce that? Tiana, Tiana, Tiana? I don't even know. So here we go. Big booty butt kiss. Let's go straight for a takedown attack right here. And that nearly, well, that nearly takes out the cast form, but here comes a hail. Now this will transform cast form, cast form into its ice type. And look at that. It is an ice type Pokemon right here. And that right there is an opening because I believe it will transform into an ice type. Hold on. We got to prove this. That right there is not very effective, and we're getting hit twice. So let's go again, Fire Fang. And yes, it is now an Ice type. How about that? And well, we are at level 34 with Bud Kiss, and is learning Flamethrower. Okay. And let's see, we got to take a look. Okay, so Flame Burst is a pretty good move. Fire Fang is a physical move. Huh. Let's see, special. 
You know what, let's go ahead and take away the special one. We gotta have a special and, and a physical one just to make sure, you know, we're covering both uh, kind of things and then eventually, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Okay, so that is that with her. And Quabra! Okay, so that, what the? Ew. Oh, so, <laughs> please tell me we do not battle this Pokemon right now, because if, if we do, I am going to be a little angry. Uh, Legendary Chameleon appears alongside the way it disappears, though. Rude after Chameleon has it with you. Uh, befriend it. Okay, so I don't think we're going to be battling it yet. I don't, but this is Chameleon, Legendary Pokemon, and it's going to be just running away, and, uh, well... I am getting a message. I don't know where my phone is at. Good gravy. Hold on. Okay. That Pokemon. Other men. It's a legendary Pokemon called Kabalion. I told you the story the other day, right? Oh, Kabalion. A no what a noble presence. They say that, th that the three Pokemon, Kabalion, Verizian, and Terrakion, fought against people to protect the Pokemon from the war... Uh, from the war those people started. When people fight, there's no peace for Pokemon either. The three legends learned that the deeds of humans could lead to dire consequences for their world. Are you serious? But why did it show up in front of people? Is it patrolling the Unova region or to protect Pokemon because it fears for their safety after the common cause by uh, Team Plasma two years ago? Or does it or does it sense a new problem? Unforgivable. So the reach of the Getz's ambition and malice is growing ever wider and warping the lives of the all it touches. Did Kabalion appear, appear in front of you merely by accident, or did it, or to plead with you to solve a problem? Unlike Lord N, I don't have the ability to understand the minds of Pokémon. Therefore, I don't know what Pokémon is, what the Pokémon is thinking. But if you can be frank, Kabalion, it will be a great asset to you on your journey. Huh? Okay, so uh, we must be a friend. We have to be a friend of that Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Um, is there anything else that I have to do right here? No, except uh, there are some more Pokemon trainers that I, I do want to take on. Um, so, if you want to heal... Let's see, first is first. Talk to this guy, Charstone Cave is great. The the fairies that I met there were very absolutely adorable. Cool. Now, if you go right here, you're going to heal up your Pokemon. Uh, make sure to talk to this guy right here. Uh, Celestial Tower, Petalil, talk to there. Yes, okay, so we're gonna be resting up our Pokemon right here. Look at that, okay, so we are healed. And, uh, let's see, do we get an ability right here from her? No, yes, we do get ourselves a Shiny Stone, which will evolve certain Pokemon. And, let's see, I gave my Minchino a Shiny Stone and it evolved into a different Pokemon, which is true. And, well, let's see, I'm looking at the Step 5 right here, Legendary Pokemon Cabellion appears so head to Charstone cave and you'll see Kabalion along the way it quickly disappears though Rude shows up after and it tells you Kabali will be a great asset okay so we just did that we're not really we're not really missing anything right here so let's go right ahead and take care of the best or the rest of uh, route 6 right here as you can see Pokemon will start appearing onto the water or well it's already it's already done that Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Richard right here, and he's going to be coming out with a Whirlipede. Not a pretty uh, bad Pokemon right there, so here we go, Butkus. Let's use that Flamethrower attack right now. Now, I could evolve it right here, but if, I, if I'm not mistaken, there's still another move right here that, that Growlithe can learn. And you know what? We're going to continue on right here. While we're doing that, I'm actually going to be taking a look on my phone to see what's going on and there we go to the flamethrower there we go and fungus has been defeated alrighty okay so that's that and uh, well we're gonna be moving on to the next thing we're gonna be getting ourselves a berry from a Pokemon Ranger because well that's the cool thing to do I guess now if we surf right here there are two things one, you can find an item right behind right behind the Season Research Lab. This will actually be the TM46 Fling. And the other one 
you will have access to the Mistralton Cave, which, uh, believe it or not, that will be our next adventure before we go into the Charged Stone Cave. So, stay tuned, guys. Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be going into the Mistralton Cave just to check out some stuff. I don't think Kabalion will be in there, but if it is, then we will be ready. Uh, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, hit the, uh, well, let's see, the little heart button right there. And, uh, yeah, the link's in the description below right there, too. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. See you guys.